This is Joe Rosemark, the Rosemark Fishing, out on the big water again today, looking for some bass and northern pike. Here we go. Okay, so here we are. Second cast of the day. Got our first largemouth bass. Pretty good size. He's 14 or so. A lightest take. Very, very light take on the worm, though. Thought I just had a worm and, or uh, had a weed and gave him a little tug and, well, it didn't shake off and finally I got a little tug about 10 feet or so later, but we'll get him loose back in the water. Well, kids, don't take time off from fishing because your eyesight will go bad and you'll forget what a fish looks like. It's actually 16 inches, a little skinny, but he's all right. And away he goes. And here's number two, back-to-back -back cast. We got bass here, just a little small guy, maybe 10 or 12 inch. We'll get him loose and back in the water. And here goes bass number two. Well, there's a pretty good start. This is number three. I've only had five casts so far this morning. Uh, this guy's just a small northern pike. We'll get him loose and back in the water. And here goes Mr. Pike. bite and just set the hook too hard. That's a nice little black crappie. He's a little small, but we might be able to play him, so we'll go throw him on a stringer. Well, getting him off the hook, that's that's going to be too small to play. We'll throw him. There goes Mr. Crappie. That one I got. Another crappie. Kind of makes me wish I would have kept the first one, but that's okay. We'll get him loose. Uh, we'll, we'll put him on a stringer and see what happens. Here, uh, 
went and uh, bit off the back half of my worm. Get another one on. Well, here's another little bass, number seven on a day. Cut him on this big ring worm. I'll get him loose and back. Dang, my hand hurts. So, I set the hook on this guy, and uh, he he tries to swim off, and he's doing a darn good job of it. To the point where you know, he got wrapped around some weeds. And <laughs> I, I couldn't pull him in. I had to go and let my anchor line loose. So we're just kind of drifting away from my anchor right now. He buried himself in the weeds. I felt like I just had a log. Go and... Just release some line to to play with the anchor and uh, I feel the pull again so I knew I had something that was just wrapped up but we got a bass here we'll get a measurement on him and get him loose and back in the water all right so here's mr. bass for that much fight he wasn't all that big he's only 15 inches but there he goes back in the water all right well that was a bummer we just lost one had him hooked up he jumped you know 10 foot from the boat and was able to throw the hook he was a good size probably 16 18 somewhere in there but it's all right we'll keep going all right so here's another nice healthy one number nine on the day another large mouth bass cut him on a swim bait we just swapped out the plastics there to get get something with the stink back on it but uh, we'll get him loose and back in the water and here goes bass number nine All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for today. We did all right. We got uh, eight total fish. It was four bass, two pike, and two crappie. Threw everything back. Nothing really worth keeping. Um, the uh, There was another good-sized bass we lost right at the boat. Had lots of little nibbles where we were losing baits today, but that's all right. It beats the tar out of not going fishing last weekend and almost getting skunked the weekend before, so... This has been Joe Rosemary with Rosemary Fishing. Thanks for watching.